Alright, we last left off on our adventure, on Crystal Adventure, with us very cho choosing our very first Pokemon, Totodile. And now we're heading off to Cherry Grove City, and after that, going to talk to per um, Mr. Pokemon, because Professor Elm wants us to go on an, an adventure. So we're going to go out right now, and we encounter our very first Pokemon, which is... A Sentret. I've never liked Sentrets. They've always bored me. So we're gonna send out Totodile and we're gonna fight this Sentret. So we're gonna use a Scratch and I'm sorry for the loading. I play this on the Nintendo 64 and it likes to do that a lot. It likes to load from the game. If you remember playing it on the Nintendo 64 with a transfer pack. That's what I used to play this game. So, we're just gonna use one more scratch and kill the Sentret. Okay, so it's gone. And that was Totodile's very first battle. And I can't say I'm proud because, I mean, he fought a Sentret. So we keep on going and we're gonna head over here and mm, up next is our second foe, Rattata. Rattata is from the first generation of Pokemon, and Sentret was from the second generation of Pokemon. Sentret is like the Rattata to the Johto League Pokemon. So we're gonna fight this Sentret. And all these Pokemon are taking forever to beat. Alright, and... Over here, you may not remember, that Pokeball over there, it's a potion, but we got sidetracked by a, a stupid Hoppip. Hoppips are also very useless Pokemon, since they're only grass and flying, and it was the very first ever grass and flying Pokemon. And the move Splash is also dumb, because it never does anything. Why they made it? It's for Magikarp to have a move. So Hopips just basically evolve into skip blooms and then jump bluffs, and they're not very useful. And Totodile finally grew to level 6. And so we're going to keep going, and we're going to get this item, which is a potion. This is the second potion you get in the game. The other one, I forgot to mention the last episode, you get from one of Professor Elm's assistants. And then there's this right here, this house, which is, as you progress through the game, it's connecting, I forget which route it is, but it connects all the way up from Blackthorn City all the way down here, and you can basically come back here, which is good, because then you go over to the Kanto region for the Pokemon League after you've beaten the whole game. So we're gonna keep on going, and I accidentally mess up here. I thought this was going the right way, but it's not. And this guy is giving me some very non-helpful advice, saying if I don't want a battle, keep out of the grass. But there's no way to keep out of the grass here. Luckily, I do not encounter another Pokemon. So we keep going. And... When you know, I encounter a Pokemon. And this one is another stupid Sentret. So we're gonna send Totodile to battle this level 2 weakling Sentret. And you think you'd beat it in one attack, but you don't. It... I don't know. And then what surprised me here was that in this... Crystal, gold, and silver games is what introduced that you could attach items to Pokemon and they could use them during battle whenever something happened to them. As, for example, Totodile was low on energy, so he used his berry to give him more health. At this time, says Cherry Grove City, which we are in right now on the bottom. You are a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay, everyone is a rookie at some point. If you like, I can teach you a few things. 
So I'm going to say no right now because I want to go heal my Totodile before I continue any further. Because Mr. Pokemon is still up further. And the Pokemon Center has changed. Thank you very much from the old versions of red, yellow, and blue. And in these games, there's actually color, which is actually very good. Because it gives the game more... I can't think of the word. Um, it just gives it more color. So right now, we're going to save the game, and then we're going to go talk to that old man so he could show us around as if I already don't know stuff. But talking to him does give you a little present at the end. So that's the only reason I'm talking to him. Okay, then follow me. So, this is a Pokemon Center where we just were, where we healed Totodile. Because we'll rely on them a lot. And next is the Pokemon Mart, where they sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items, such as potions, antidotes, Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. Next, he take us, takes us to the, to the sea, where we can only find Pokemon that are only available in the water, as if I did not know. And then he drags us over, as if I care what this place is. This is actually his house. And this is the small gift. It's a map card. It goes with your Poke Gear. So wherever you're at, you can know where you're at. Just click Poke Gear, move over to the map, and you can see where you're at. So that's good and helpful advice. Over here, we in this house, we have two people. One of them's telling the other girl about evolution, and then the girl says that if a Pokemon changed, she would be shocked if she saw one do that. I don't get it at all. I mean, Pokemon do that all the time, don't they? Okay, so now. We talk to this guy, and he says that Mr. Pokemon's house is still further ahead. So, we go. And now we're on Route 30. Route 30, however you want to say it. I've always said Route. Anyway, up here, this sign says Route 30, Violet City, Cherry Grove City. And in this house, you can get a... In that house right there, you can get a berry from the plant outside. And if you go in, the man will give you another berry. I just had to cut that out because it took too long to do that so here we're not gonna battle this caterpie i'm gonna show you the last part of the battle actually because it's important because totodile actually gains another level and goes to level seven and learns the move um rage and right here you can pick up an antidote which is good for healing Pokemon when they're poisoned. Then we read the sign that says Mr. Pokemon's house straight ahead. So we're gonna follow this path to Mr. Pokemon's house. Right here. And here it is. Mr. Pokemon's house. We're gonna save the game. And we'll figure out what his great discovery is on the next Pokemon Crystal Adventures.